everyone. It's very awkward. exciting video. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Bloodlust from B-Ray. I'm so excited. Like, oh my god. The palette is just stoic for velvet. Yes, please. So I ordered two things from the collection. I only ordered two because I only ordered two because that's all I can afford at the moment. But in the, in the future, I might get more. It just depends. Right, so let's get straight into the video because I'm not going to wait any longer because I've waited so long since the re reveal. Like it was only like it was only like eleven days ago, but it feels like forever since the review um, reveal video for the palette and collection. But. So excited. Oh my god. Okay. Let's get into it. Oh my god. Let's get in. Get this box. My receipt. I'll cover that bit. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, I see one of my products first. This one first because I can see it. Oh my god! Oh. oh my god! It's so pretty in person, like the box is so pretty in person. So I got the gloss in the shade Lord Scar. Come on, focus. It's not focusing, but I got the shade Lord Scar. Mm -hmm. And it's basically named after him being called Lord Voldemort because he has no eyebrows. But he likes it, he thinks it's funny. Okay, so Lord Scar. Let's open this first. I'm actually like so excited. Even inside the box is lavender. Oh my god. I can sort of see the colour and it's so pretty.
Okay. Oh. oh my god, it's even prettier. It's even prettier in person. So that's the colour. It's like a purple fuchsia with blue and purple and gold reflex, I think. So it's the colour. Oh my god. This is just the gloss and it's like so pretty. I'm actually glad that I got this because I wanted to get the gloss from the Shane Dawson collab but like I had enough for it but I had I ended up having to pay for the three products obviously and then an extra £10 for next day delivery. So anyway, it went, it went from £3.95 to, to £9.95. I think it's because like it was like a really raved about collab and everyone wanted it. So they marked up the price to £10 for the next day. And then the lid is like a purple chrome. Oh, I love it. The only thing I wish they did is if they did this one, if they did this part chrome as well, not plastic. Like they did with the Shane Dawson gloss. Because the whole entire lid was gunmetal. I just wish that was gunmetal purple as well. Because it just make it a little bit more fancier, but it's still really nice. I'm not going to say I like it, because I do like it. It's just so much... You can't really see how nice it is until you see it in person, if you know what I mean. So once you get this gloss, you'll realise that how nice it is in person. Like, cameras don't really do it justice. It looks a bit washed out, but in person it just looks so, like full of colour and brightness. It's just so pretty. That's the gloss. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited since um, when I got that Shane Dawson mirror. I picked the black one. I'm more, I'm more excited for this, obviously. usually the part that people cut out but I'm not very good at editing so I don't edit my videos so this part you would never see in a video so they just cut out but I leave it when because I can't edit I can't be bothered to edit it's just too hard for me okay and as you can see it is quite big so you probably know what this is I'm actually like so excited when my friend, I was on my friends last night, my friend Millie, because we went out at the end of the day. And when, when she see me, when she was like seeing me getting excited, like ordering it and like leading up to the time, she was like, I don't understand why you like this. I don't even, I don't understand why you even spend so much money on this makeup. And I was like, if you like, if you're into Jeffree Star like me, you would know. It's not just makeup; it's, it's like a collector's item. Because it literally is. Like it's not just makeup. Because so much, so much like appreciation goes into it, every single palette. He didn't just slap his name on tomato and call it his own palette. He actually like does it himself. His own work. His own like 
thoughts. So this can be very bubble wrapped. Thank you, Bitty Bear. And can I just say, last night when ordering the palette and the gloss, God, was it so smooth? For the conspiracy launch, God, it was so mad. But last night, I ordered it within like a minute or two. It was that quick. There was no, well, there, on the website there's a queue. You had to wait in a queue. And you were given an hour to order the stuff you wanted. It was just so quick. No glitching, no like, um, there was no crashing on websites, on the app or anything. It was all well done and like well thought out before he actually put it on the website and obviously he like launched it onto the website. Can you see it? The purple hexagon. Oh, this part is heavy. He did not take this line down with this. Oh my god. Oh. How you doing? Oh my god, it's so pretty. The purple just makes it so nice. It's just so, such a nice purple. Also, one thing I like about this is that they put a, bu a bumper in, in the box. So like, the palette sits in the bumper so no like, shadows cracked or like fully like smithereened. So now it's time to open I've seen it in pictures so many times, now I see it in real life, and in real life it looks so pretty. Now let's do the fill test, let's see what it feels like. Does it, does it go up to the standards? so soft. So there's the palette. And surprisingly there's actually no creasing in the bumper. But yeah, I forgot to show you on the back. There's like a serpent wrapped around the star logo. It's the same serpent as the, um, as the, uh, what's it called? As, oh, what's it called? The embossment on the vile serpent shade, the teal shade.
So that's what that's what he means by the bumper. It's like a just like a bumper cardboard thing like, that holds the pallet intact. Keeps it, keeps all the shades intact and no shades are broken during transit. I tell you what, this is super soft. Okay, now it's time to go into the shades. I don't want to break it. So there's a plastic he was talking about to keep the shade safe. Oh my god. That's some thick plastic. They weren't... They weren't messing about. So much better in real life. Oh my god, look at them. Oh my god. Look at them. They're so much better in real life. I'm telling you that now. They're so much better in real life. Okay, let's go for the sheets. Your Majesty, take the crown. Deviant, beauty sleep, wet jaw, royal pain, dungeon, scandal war, sworn enemy, pink magic, bleeding heart, executioner, high king, vivid mood, monarchy, Blood Queen, Vile Serpent, and Betrayal. Oh my god, they're like, they are so pigmented. I think, I think you can even see how pigmented they are on my camera. And there was like a lot of There's a lot of hate for the shades in this palette. Like people saying that there weren't enough purples, or like the purples weren't enough, they weren't darker than they thought. Well, for one, there actually was a lot of purples in this palette. I, just, I think because of the shape of the palette, people don't really realise how many, people don't really realise how many purples there actually are because it's quite like a different shape to what it usually does, so it's a lot more spaced out than what he actually has usually, because they're all, they're usually like, they're usually like, let me just show you blood, blue blood. They're usually like in a line, like in, like in a row, where like people can usually see the blues and the colours. And let me just tell you something. In this palette, in the blue blood palette, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve blues in this palette. Okay? Twelve. Remember there's 12 in this palette. 
and then um, bloodlust. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen purples in bloodlust. There's actually more purples in here than the than there's blues in the blue blood path. I think people or I think people thought there wasn't an enough or a lot of purples in this palette because of the shape. If it was all in a row, like it is with the blue blood palette, they would think, oh, that's a lot of purples. But as it's like a different shape than what Jeffrey's ever done before, the hex skin shape makes it look like there's not a lot, when in actual fact there is. Because there's actually one more purple than there is in the blue blood palette. So, to answer you guys' question, or just to just to tell you, there's actually more purples in here than the blue blood. So actually, this is a very purple palette. It's just, it's just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Jeffrey, you're probably not watching this, but if you do end up watching this sometime, you did such a good job on this palette. Like the design, the colours, the whole thought behind it. It's just a, such a such a good job. And such a good choice. Like I've never seen anyone in the makeup industry do a velvet palette. Like I don't think I've ever seen anyone think of that before. So for Jeffrey to think of it and absolutely wow people. I think he just did a really good job. And I hope he knows that as well. Because there's a lot of people that was disappointed with the palette on the reveal. But I just want to let you know that I love the palette. The palette is stunning. Outside and inside. I love the little jewellery clasp because it's so different to what he's done before. He's always done the clasps, like this one. And the iconic chrome clasps on the shame. stunning as well. Also, they've sold out now because I checked this morning but Jeffrey and his team did a surprise mini conspiracy um, relaunch on his website and like a bunch of people got their palette, um, like their bloodlust palette as well as the conspiracy. I think that's actually a really, a really good like a really good choice to do because then people are more surprised because they also have the bloodlust and they also have the conspiracy which they which can like sort out within like minutes if the websites didn't crash. So yeah, it's an actual fact. This palette has more purples than you think. And just look at it, it's so stunning. How can how can like anyone not like this? I know no one said that you didn't like the palette natural velvet but if they did how can you not how can you say you don't like it like it's purple velvet for god's sake who uh, who's thought that before no one i don't think i haven't seen anything i haven't seen anyone think of that before so 
I am super excited and happy that I've got the palette and the gloss from the collection because like a lot of people bought it because it's sold out on Morphe, Jeffree Star's website, Beauty Bay, not Beautylish, Beautylish has still got it in stock. Um, I'm not sure about anywhere else, like I think, I think Black Swallow um, from Australia is sold out, I'm not sure. So, yeah. And if you're wondering why I'm not swatching the gloss, I'm not swatching it because it's limited edition and I don't want to use it. Because like it's never gonna be made, it's never gonna be made again. I don't wanna keep it in like collector's edition. Because it's never gonna be sold again. I kind of think. Because on Jeffree Star because my ex Instagram page. They captioned the shade sorcery. I think it was sorcery or iridescent throne. As limited edition gloss. So obviously limited edition means like once it's gone, it's gone. If you know what I mean. So that's my review of the Jeffree Star. Bloodlust palette and gloss in the shade Lord Star. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't be what did I say? Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video. Comment down below if you if you were um, able to get anything from the collection yesterday. And if you want to, there's no pressure, but if you want to, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so you know every time I upload to this channel. So yeah. Also, yeah, I forgot. I'm wearing the Shane robe, hoodie, and Joggers that I ordered from his website for Christmas. No, I ordered it on America's Thanksgiving, November 29th. Um, I was going to do a video on it, but I just forgot, completely forgot. And then when I thought about it, I was like, oh, it's been it's a bit too late now. I've already opened it, it's already came. I've had it for about two weeks, so I was like, what's the point of making a video? So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace. Mm. Bloodlust is awesome. Buy it when it restocks.